Hello and welcome. If you're new to the game of golf and you want to improve your ball striking and your consistency in actually hitting the ball well, well, there's one thing you definitely need to do. And that is one thing that all the best players in the world will do, but unfortunately most amateurs and especially beginners, they won't. I'm going to show you what it is. So let's dive straight into it. number one fundamental in the golf swing that will be to keep the central of the swing in a steady position through the whole motion and what is the central of the swing well that is basically the head so if you look at all the best players in the world you won't see the head moving too much from side to side you won't see the head moving too much going up and down you will see their head staying pretty much in the same position in the back swing maybe a little bit moving down in the transition then coming back to the exact same place and then from here they're allowing the head to, move, to look up towards the ball if you can if you can keep the centrum of the swing so the head in the same position every time what that will do is that it's going to make it way easier for you to control where the club head is going to hit the ground and that is basically the number one fundamental of golf so you see we swing in a big circle Okay, so the club head, imagine that the club head is swinging in a circle, coming back, boom, coming forward. And a circle will have a centrum. And the centrum of our swing circle is the head. So let's say that you move your head too much this way in the back swing. Now you have moved the circle more this way. So now the lowest point of the circle is now not, it's not, it's not right in front of the ball anymore, unfortunately. You've moved the lowest point further behind the ball. You're gonna hit the ground purely now. Let's say that you moved your head too much up in the back swing. Now the whole swing circle boom has moved up off the ground. So now you can't really reach the ball anymore. So you're probably gonna top it. It could also have happened that your head moved down in the back swing. Now the swing circle is basically moved under the ground, which means the point where the club will hit the ground is gonna be again bang way too early and it's a probably also gonna hurt your hands a little bit so make sure that you can keep this head in the same position all the time and one of the best drills that you can do to improve this skill would be actually something you could do in your living room maybe right where you're standing right now so you don't even need a golf club I just wanted you to put your hands over your shoulders and then take your golfing setup and then we would need a wall and then I would take a few steps until my head touching the wall and then the trick will be to see if you can do your backswing rotation and also part of the downswing without the head moving all over the wall from this side it's gonna look like this see if you can keep your head steady on the wall through the whole motion only in the end you can allow a little bit of this with that very very good drill for you to improve the consistency of your ball striking the motion it's not too easy to not have your head moving all around because you will need to coordinate, coordinate three different movements at once. So if you're gonna do like this, let's say I'm standing here and I wanna end in this position in my back swing. So you can see I'm rotating my body, but I'm also to, doing two other movements. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm extending my body, I'm rotating my body, and I'm side bending my body. Now my head can stay in the same position. So I'm basically coordinating extension, rotation, side bend. I'm coordinating that at the same time to allow my head to be in the same position. Let's say I did this, the example from before, my head is moving to the right. I've rotated, yes, I could also have side bended, but I need extension in order to keep my head in the same place, All right? Let's say my head moved up like this. Yes, I have rotated, I have extended now, but I will also need some side bend bang, in order to keep my head in the same position. Back to the drill I showed before, do that at home, put your head towards the wall, see if you can do the rotation without moving your head. And I will guarantee you that this will improve your ball striking if you actually manage to do it when you're hitting a golf ball. It's gonna look something like this. If we put it all together, making sure your head is not moving, nice strike on that one 
So give it a go. The next time you're on the driving range, I am very sure it's going to improve your consistency a lot. Good luck out there. And don't forget to subscribe and follow this challenge. I will be giving out tips, tricks and tutorials all the time that's aimed towards helping beginner golfers learn this wonderful game.